Hi! Today, I'm just gonna ramble, because this is a special episode of just stopping by to say hi. I'd like to welcome all the old delinquents, as well as all the new. My name's Sarge, and this... Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shut the fuck up! Is the gray area. Humans are such easy prey. This isn't funny anymore! Hello there, and welcome to a special episode of the Gray Area. Delinquents at ease. What's up, everybody? Hi, how are you guys doing? Did you guys have a good Christmas? Did you guys get all the things you wanted? As a child, I realized that I didn't want socks and I didn't want clothes. And as an adult, I realized I want socks and I want clothes. How's everybody's bellies? Are you guys full? Like, to the brim? Is your belly, like, are people petting it because you... Remind them of the great Buddha? Are they rubbing it for luck? Is it like petting a globe? It's just like a giant fucking thing. Anybody get anything weird? Hmm? Anybody? Anything weird for the holidays? Hmm? Hmm? The last day of Hanukkah is technically tonight, because we go eight days. Our stamina is strong in the Jew game. <laughs> so as I mentioned, this is a special episode, because I'm stopping by to say hi. I'm going to start doing this randomly. It's going to be very short. I'm not going to cover my, like, main topics of, you know, my what in the actual fuck, my random thought, my dirty dad joke, my today in history. I'm just going to come on here, and I'm just going to talk briefly. It's not going to be an hour. You know what I mean? It's not going to be a full hour and a half, 45 minutes. It's going to be short, sweet, and to the point. Like a quickie in a bathroom when you don't have enough time because you locked the kittens in the car and it's like 85 degrees outside. But you crack the window, so that gives you some time. To get it out, get it in, and get it off. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Okay? I'm sure there's there's people that listen to me in Florida, and you guys are in the news all the time for the stupidest shit. So please don't be like, you know, Sarge said that I could have sex in a public bathroom as long as I cracked the window so my kids could breathe. No. No, I did not. Okay, officer, if you're listening to this back, it, it was sarcasm. It was sarcasm. Please let me know if I need to contact my lawyer. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I'm just stopping by to say hi. That's the title of the freaking episode, these little, quick little short ones. And um, I want to give a shout out to all my new followers out there, of which there are many. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but somehow I've blown up over the last two weeks. And I, I appreciate it. I don't know if it's a fluke. I don't know if it's some weird random thing. But for some reason... My followers have gone up five fucking hundred just on Podbean alone. So that doesn't even count like Google Play, iTunes, you know, Spotify, YouTube. If you guys listen to that, eventually I'll have, you know, video content. But not yet, because I didn't think I was going to be growing anytime soon this fast. And side note, when it comes to New York, New York, fuck New York. I love New York. I'm just kidding. Love you guys. Um, when it comes to like New Year's resolutions... Okay, everyone's like, new year, new me. No, okay, it's new year, new nope. New year, new not gonna fucking happen. Okay, because resolutions, I mean, you can make a change towards your goals, but shit doesn't happen in a year, especially if you're in the podcasting field. I tried this, I started this out like 2018. Yep, right around Halloween. And I'm not seeing a return on anything until right fucking now. Okay, so I'd like to give a shout out. To all the old delinquents that were with me at the beginning and all the new delinquents that are jumping on board now. So, welcome. Welcome to the delinquent army. We are, <laughs> we are growing stronger. Maybe I'll do a Patreon down the road and I'll have like a rank structure, you know? I am the Sarge, right? But I'll do like a rank structure from like private to specialist to like private first class and maybe a lieutenant or blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? My generals, huh? That sounds cool. Aren't generals a higher rank than sergeants? All right, calm down. All right, everybody knows. Okay, we don't need this. I don't need the backlash of, if you're a sarge and you're designating generals, doesn't that mean that it's, don't they have control? Don't they order you around? First of all, I do this for the people. I'm going off on a tangent. Oh my God. 
Okay, so anyway, I want to give a shout out to everybody out there that's listening from England to Taiwan to fucking Australia to Florida. So Alabama, New York, California. I hate your states, but I love the people. <laughs> I love the people. So uh, New York and California, you could stay, but you know, inside voices, because you know, Sarge says a lot of things that you guys don't like. You too, Illinois. And I live in Illinois. And Illinois is just going off on a tangent again. But anyway, thank you. So thank you for the past year. Here's the growing together. I'm going to have some new merch out there. And we'll see where this thing goes. And I'm not stopping. And you're not stopping. And we're going to go. And I'd like to thank, special thank you, to Travis T. of This Freaking Show. And Just Freaking Wrestling. Dizzle J. Just freaking wrestling. And uh, the Freak Joe or Cartoon Joe or whatever your fucking name is. He has like three names and he's on this freaking show. And we are a conglomerate trio of podcasts. And it's this freaking show. So follow that on all social platforms. Facebook, Podbean, listen to their podcast. Just freaking wrestling which is, you know, specifically wrestling-based, which is awesome if you guys are into that stuff, which I am, and I listen to them all the time. So big shout-out to those guys. Big shout-out to Travis. If it wasn't for Travis, I wouldn't be sitting here probably right now because, you know, just freaking wrestling is like our baby brainchild, but he started it out, right? And originally I was going to jump on with him and I was going to be like, yay, wrestling, let's talk about it. But, you know, there's distance and there's time and there's real-world life. We're not fucking, you know millionaires okay we don't have a following we don't have a backing we're starting from the bottom and now we're here so if you're on the delinquent train you're on their train too so awesome you're a part of freaknet studios just like everybody else i am a part of freaknet studios just because i'm blowing up like hiroshima that's a horrible joke <laughs> just because i'm blowing up like nagasaki also just as bad doesn't mean i'm not bringing my boys with me I got to squad up, okay? I'm not one of those people like, oh my God. Oh my God, you're like famous. You should, you're famous. You shouldn't get a manager. First of all, no, I'm not famous. I've made a step in the right direction, okay? I'm not like, I'm not going to let this go to my head. I'm not going to forget the people that got me here. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to forget the people that brought me to this point. Because they got me here. I'm not going to forget about the little people. Because they're not little. Not to me. They got me here. That includes everybody listen, listening. That includes Travis T. That includes Cartoon Joe. That includes freaking Dizzle J. So, Freaknet Studios thanks you. Jump on that. And moving forward. The only reason I'm doing that, by the way, is because, first of all, he finally started to spell the gray area right. Because he's giving me a shout out on his podcast. And he's like, I feel that, you know... I am, you know, giving Sarge more of a shout out on our podcasts than he is on ours. So listen, delinquents, all right? Eventually we will have a freaking delinquent shirt, which is going to fucking be awesome because I'm going to get like 800 of them because this freaking show and a gray area and just freaking wrestling and a freaking delinquent shirt is going to be badass, okay? So we're going into 2020. Our three podcasts, Freaknet Studios, we're going to have video content, we're going to do a hot sauce challenge, where I'm saying Mexican hot sauces are better than American hot sauces, and Travis T's like, no, nah, fuck you, man, American, so he's bringing out, like, Frank's, Frank's Red Hot, Tabasco, and Louisiana, and I am going to represent the gray area and the gray area army with our Mexican hot sauces picks of Tapito, Valentino, and Cholula, because let's be honest here. All right. When it comes down to hot sauces, you would automatically assume, right? Well, if you assume you make an ass out of you and shut the fuck up, Karen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you would, you know, articulate that Mexican hot sauces are going to be better. Why? Because there are fucking white people in America that think fucking mayonnaise is spicy. This mayonnaise is is this like a chipotle mayo no it's hellman's it's just basic you know mayonnaise it's really it's got some it's got some heat on it it's got some heat meanwhile 
in Mexico. They're crushing up freaking red peppers and ghost peppers, even though the ghost peppers are mostly from the Carolinas. Because I do my research. I'm not just going to be like, oh, America, I'm biased. First of all, I am I am biased when it comes to America because America. But when it comes to hot sauces, Mexico has got it. So stay tuned to that because we will be going all out for that. That would be on video. And eventually we're going to do the uh, the Pocky One Chip Challenge. And stay tuned for that shit show. Because that's going to be a painful, painful treat for all of you. But, you know, it's going to wreck my insides for probably a good three days. Alright, so, what's going on? Anybody get any weird fucking gifts? Like weird gifts? Like, I don't know. Like a furry anal butt plug. Anyone? <laughs> Anyone out there? This one looks like a fox. This one looks like a raccoon. You're sitting there, ch- you know, showing your kids that. No, just me. Am I the only one that got those? <laughs> uh, first of all, if there's any delinquents out there that want to freaking send me uh, anal butt plugs, I'm going to, you know, you know, politely decline. Okay, politely. It could go up on my wall of random shit that my fans give me, because that's going to be a thing. If that ever happens, there's going to be gifts, and I'm going to be like, I'd love to use it, but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to, (laughs) because it's embarrassing. So I'm just going to put all the anal, you know, butt plugs and the weird freaking novelty items on the wall. And it'll be under light in the background of my podcast eventually when I'm on camera. Okay, I'll promise you that. So if you guys give me any random stupid shit... That you think I'm going to wear in public. Don't and don't get me twisted, because I would I will wear some random shit in public. Don't get me wrong. Like nipple tassels probably out, so that's gonna go on the wall. You guys understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed your gifts or whatever you got in your Christmas, and I hope this new year going into twenty twenties is gonna be fan fucking tastic. And I hope everybody wears tailored suits like it's nineteen twenties and the roaring twenties are back, and everyone's wearing tailored suits and freaking awesome hats to go everywhere i'm talking to the men the 20s are back be fucking gentlemen i want everything to be like peaky fucking blinders okay (laughs) everything the whole world i need it to happen i need 20s parties i need tommy guns i need jazz i need blues i need swing music i need that all to come back I need everybody to, like, put the whiskey up on the wall, put the tequila and the vodka up on the wall. Let's go back to gin. It's pure. It's clean. It's fantastic. It's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You guys ever sweat from, like, weird places? Like, you know, like your upper lip? Isn't that weird? Like, you see people sweating, and you're like, ugh, they're sweating. That's gross. They're, like, dripping. But, like, how hot is it that your upper lip is sweating? Like, it's beating. You have beads of sweat on your upper lip. If your upper lip is sweating so bad, could you imagine what, like, your undercarriage is like, ladies, gentlemen? It must be like Niagara down there. Am I going off on a weird tangent? I was just talking about drinking gin in the Roaring Twenties and everything. Now I'm talking about, like, upper lip sweat. If you're sweating from your upper lip, what about the common areas that normally sweat? How bad is that area? You know what I mean? It must be like a freaking raging river in your underwear. <laughs> girls are going to be going down on guys. Guys are going to be going down on guys. Girls will be going down on girls. And, you know, you know, if their upper lip is sweating, you probably don't want to go down there. It's, a, it's, it's the fucking Everglades down there. You don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, so keep that on your... Uh, your resolution list for 2020, okay? You know, uh, it's 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 winter break, and uh, was winter break always two weeks? I don't remember it. Like, I was like, oh, my kids are going back to school on Monday, yay. They're not, they're not, because New Year's Eve is fucking Tuesday. By the way, I'm recording this on Sunday. Sunday the 29th, so, of December, 2019. I don't know when you're listening to this. It could be fucking, you know... 2520 and you could be on a colony in mars and you could be just listening to random podcasts from back in the day so hello future how are you do you speak english still and is pelosi still in office (laughs) yeah old bitch oh god anyway anywho 
So my kids are still in, on break for another week, and I'm just like, oh, yay, back to school. And then they're like, no, I got another week. I'm like, yay. Yay. I can't. Yay. I don't remember having so much fucking breaks. Did, did our parents and their parents have this many, this, this much fucking time off? Like you got like a fall break and like a Thanksgiving break. And then you get like winter break, which is like two weeks. And then there's like a spring break. And then, then summer break is like fucking two months. And then some change. That's a lot of to go to school. Okay. Learn you something. All right. And if you are on break, kiddos, if you listen to this or parents that have kiddos, let them go outside. Breaks are for socializing. All right. You learn brain stuff and academics and educate yourself in school for whatever category of education, wherever math, sciences, language arts, English, you know, all those. But when you're on break, when the weekends are here, go outside, play, socialize, learn your street smarts, learn your common sense, learn how to hustle, you know, don't just stay fucking, don't let them stay home. And just play video games all day because the real world's got to come out and kick them in the ass. All right? So when there's breaks and when there's break time, you go and you socialize and you talk to strangers. Okay? As much as people say, don't talk to strangers. Why? What the fuck is wrong with that? There's good people out there. Okay? I'm not, I mean, you could, you, you, get, you have to be able to tell the difference if a stranger is, you know... On level and cool and not too bad, or if he's dangerous as fuck. Because eventually, you're going to have to talk to a stranger. Eventually, in life. If you don't do it when you're a kid, you're not going to be able to filter out the fucking assholes. Am I going off on a tangent? Yes. Because <laughs> my kids are on break. And when I'm saying break, it means they're happy they're on break. They don't have to worry about school. So what does that mean? It means they're going to sing in the shower. And they're going to take long showers. And it's sad. And the vents carry everything, everywhere. Everybody that has ever lived in a house ever that has vents or AC or central air or whatever, you hear what is going on in the basement. You hear what's going on in the bathroom. If you're in the basement, in the laundry room, you could hear what's going on upstairs in the master bedroom. You hear everything. These vents carry everything. They're like, you know... They're like telephone with the cord, you know, and you got to keep the cord tight and stuff. Some people don't know what the fuck I'm talking about because there's iPads and tablets now. But you guys remember the telephone with the, you know, the tin can and the string and you talk into it? That's just like, it's like vent. That's what these vents in these houses do. And I hear everything. For kids that don't swear around their father, they fucking swear a lot when I'm not. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And for people that, you know, don't sing... In public, they fucking sing a lot when they're in the shower. You think if you're going to raise your voice and scream like a fucking banshee, the rest of the house isn't going to hear you? Especially when you're singing Into the Unknown from the Frozen 2 soundtrack. The whole time, I'm just sitting there in my bathroom. And I hear, Into the Unknown, Into the Unknown, Into the Unknown. And he's, he's tone deaf and his pitch is garbage. And I'm like, I lean on the floor and I lay on the floor and I put my mouth to the vent. Don't worry, it's clean. I'm a clean freak. And I scream, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and he heard that because I could hear him. All right. So that only makes sense. And he's like, I should be in the choir. He gets out of the shower and he sees me in the kitchen. He's like, yeah, I should be in the choir. I was like, yeah, you should be in the shut the fuck up section. Holy fucking aggravating. Shut up. Don't hate on my swag, dad. Don't hate on my, don't, I'm, I'm fire. I'm, I'm cold as ice. I was like, you need to stop talking like that. Just stop it. You're singing Frozen 2 soundtrack in the bathroom. And you don't even know the words. You just know the into the unknown. That's it. The part. You don't know any of the words. You don't know any of the verses. You just sing the chorus over and over and over again. And, you know, I was humbled because I'm pretty sure we all have done that once upon a time. Whether it's the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. We didn't know all the verses. We just knew the chorus. That's the first thing that you learn when you're into a song. You don't learn the fucking verses. All three verses are different. But what is repetitive is the hook. And the fucking chorus. And that's what they catch. And that's, you know, 
that, I mean, that, 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 that makes sense, right? Because it happened to all of us. It happened to all of us. <sighs> you guys got your New Year's resolutions out? I'm going to be this. I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to make a better body for myself. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Resolutions take time, like I've said before. It's taken me a long time to get where I am on this podcast. It's taken me well over a year. So you could start your resolution. doesn't mean it's going to happen by February or or the second week of January. Be like, I want a new body. I'm going to start working out. And then two weeks go by. You're like, you know what? No. <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. You know? So that's why I titled the... The title of this podcast is New Year, New Nope, because nope, don't fucking wait till, till a new year for a fresh start. It's just another day. Nothing has fucking changed. Nothing is new. Nothing. Nothing is new in your life. Nothing has changed in your life. So life is what you make it. It doesn't matter if it's fucking January 1st or July 17th. It does not matter. It does not matter. So, like I said, it's the last day of Hanukkah today. So, the Festival of Lights is over. Mm, now what do we do? The holidays are pretty much done until New Year's. And then after that, it's you got nothing to look forward to until St. Patty's Day. What are you talking about? There's Ash Tuesday and, you know, there's Klotchkis and Groundhog Day. Eh, I guess. I don't think anything's really that important until my birthday, which is February 13th. But that's not even a big one. And then there's Valentine's Day, which is the fucking one of the worst holidays on the fucking planet. Because that's the day you're supposed to show people you fucking care about them and Sweetest Day and their birthday. Oh my God, you're so fucking selfish. Okay, why can't you just love somebody on Tuesday or a random fucking Wednesday? Why do you have to have designated days for people? Father's Day, Mother's Day, Sweetest Day, Valentine's Day. How about fuck that day? <laughs> fuck that Love your mom every day. Love your dad every day. Love yourself every day. Love your significant other every day. Okay? That's it. Hey, and ladies, um, or gentlemen, whatever, there's going to be a lot of thirsty motherfuckers looking for, oh, it's a new year. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. It's time for me to find somebody for me. And there's going to be some thirsty motherfuckers out there because they don't have to worry about getting gifts because the holiday season is over. So now there, there's a lot of fucking thirsty people out there that are looking for ass. And there's a lot of thirsty people out there that are looking for relationships. And chances are the people that are looking for ass are going to find the people that are looking for relationships and the people that are looking for ass are going to be happy and the people that are <laughs> looking for relationships are going to be disappointed again because they're just too busy to settle down if you're fucking within the first week chances are your relationship's not gonna last make that motherfucker wait for it him or her and if they don't want to wait for it then they ain't worth the booty they ain't worth the booty you gotta put in the work son girl whatever Put the fucking work in, all right? Okay? I don't give a fuck if you're smashing. I don't give a fuck if you're a guy, if you're a fucking girl. If you want to have sex, fucking have sex. If you want to beat it up, beat it up, okay? If girls are getting all the dick they want, good for them, okay? Let's just, I'm going off on a side tangent here, but everyone's like, why is it when a guy, why is it, you know what, as a feminist in this society that leads that's a Democrat. I bleed blue. Nancy Pelosi is my role model. I love Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders is a great Democrat. No, he's a socialist. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent here. All those people out there, they're like, why is it when a woman has sex with multiple partners, she's a whore or she's a slut or she's a skank and she's downgraded. But when a man does it, it's just like, yay, you well done. I understand what you're saying. But in reality, do you know how much fucking more work a man has to put in to get ass? A girl of any shape, of any stature, of any size, of any ethnicity or race or whatever, or the way she looks could go up to fucking anybody, almost, and be like, hey, fuck me. Take me home and fuck me. <laughs> and she's getting laid that day. She's getting fucking laid that day. If a man does it, if a guy does it, he's going to prison. He's probably going to get slapped. He's going to get a drink thrown on his head and he's going to jail. Okay. So yes, we got to put a lot more fucking work in. Okay. To get the ass. So when we smash, we're fucking proud of it. 
Okay? I'm not saying we're fucking whores. I'm not saying ladies are whores. Okay? You're enjoying it too. Okay? You're, you know, it takes two to tango there. I'm not talking about fucking rape culture. I'm talking about you agree to it, he agrees to it. But chances are, honey, all right, doll face, that he put in a lot of fucking work to get you to that spot. Okay? And some girls are like, nope, I just wanted him because he's fucking hot. Good for you. Good on that. But I'm just saying, when it comes to sex, when it comes to fucking society, girls that want to smash, get to fucking smash. Guys that want to smash have to fucking work for it. Okay? So that's just, you know, whatever. All right. You guys want to know a secret? I invented something. I don't think anybody knows that this exists. I call it the Jewish drive-by. Because it's the holidays, it's the last day of Hanukkah, I'm going to bring it to you, all right? A Jewish drive-by is this, okay? All right, put your seatbelt on, or whatever. Sit down for this one. Mind blown, ready? So you're out, you're with your friends, you want to go to a, to a deli or a fast food restaurant, but you're in the city, it doesn't matter if you're in L.A., Denver, Cleveland, Chicago, New York, Miami, Austin... I don't give a fuck, Toronto, but there's parking, and parking costs money, and fucking people hate that shit, so what you gotta do is you drive, and you have a driver, and you drive to the place, and you drop off your people, and they get out of there, and they go in there, and you make sure they have your fucking order, because they're gonna go in there, and they're gonna order, and the driver circles the block, and he keeps circling the block, and then he comes back, and everybody's waiting out there, they jump in the car, and boom, you're gone, because, you know... That's what a Jewish drive-by is. That's what it is. You drop people off. They get your stuff. They get back in the car when you circle back because you don't want to play for parking. And ta-da! Jewish drive-by. That's what that is. Yep. Mm -hmm. Another thing I was thinking about. I saw a pawn shop. <laughs> I saw a pawn shop that buys gold and silver and trade-ins and shit like that. And it was called the coin slot. And I automatically thought that that's what, you know, prostitutes call their vaginas in Vegas, right? Because that's just clever, right? <laughs> uh, that's what they, that, that's what, yeah, that's what prostitutes call their kuka in uh, Cleveland. Probably not Cleveland, but Vegas. No? Not so much? Are you guys shaking your head like, why am I still listening to you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know delinquents. I don't know. Maybe it's because we're delinquents. But uh, yeah, all right. Let's do some uh, let's do some New York New York resolutions. Yeah, okay. Clean up your fucking city. How about that? Right. I'm not gonna get into any pop culture shit. I'm not gonna talk about fucking Pelosi because I know I, I mean I'm not gonna talk about Pelosi. I'm not gonna talk about the Democrats. I'm not gonna talk about any of that. It's a new year. It's a special episode. It's just stopping by to say hi. Try to do that, Sarge. Try to fucking do that. As much as you want to just be like, fuck the Democrats, fuck... See? See? I was giving an example of what I would do, and me going in to do that example would put me off into a tangent, and all my delinquent army knows that I go off on tangents, and then I'll just start rambling for about 25 minutes about how much I hate society in certain aspects, and how people that disagree with me are wrong. First of all, if you disagree with me, you're not wrong. You just have a difference of opinion, and that is fine. And I am open to listening to it. It's okay to have a difference of opinion. That's the main thing about this whole fucking podcast. The gray area. Meet in the middle. Find out what people don't want to talk about. You talk about it. I talk about it. You have your opinion. I have my opinion. We don't have to agree. It doesn't mean we're wrong, but we don't have to argue and beat each other up for it. You know? It's okay, delinquents. Because I love you. And you love me. So... Let's go over some resolutions for the year 2020, shall we? The person who loves you is not the person who sees you every day, but the person who looks for you every day. Now, keep that in mind, all right? The person that loves you is not the person you see every day. This mostly goes to people that are not in relationships. So if you're looking for a relationship... If that's what your end-all, be-all is for the year 2020, I'm old, I need to settle down, I need to have kids, my internal clock is ticking, my biological clock is non-existent, I need to have some children, then go ahead. But the person that loves you is not the person you see every day. But the one that looks for you every day. So, that's cute. 
It's fucking adorable. And parents, um, get off your kids' asses. It's 2020. You're a 30-something-year-old woman. You don't have a you don't have a boyfriend. You don't have any children. I just want to be a. I just want to be a grandmother. Why can't I just be a grandmother? I just want to make some sauce, and some falafels, and maybe some kugel for my babies. But you are a fucking wreck, okay? And you can't settle down with anybody or disappointment to the family. Thanks, mom. Thank you. That's great. I just left a relationship of four years, and now you're beating me up for not having children. Thanks, Mom. You're, you're the best. You know? Here's a cheers. All right? <laughs> it's okay to say woo and just fuck it for, like, whoever gets on your nerves in 2020. All right? Do not tolerate all the bullshit. So here's my toast for 2020 to all my delinquents out there. All right? Cheers to the people who love us, the losers who lost us. And the lucky bastards who get to meet us. Because we are fucking awesome. It's important to go out into the world in 2020. And if you're an introvert, introvert, be a little bit extroverted. Oh, that's easier said than done, Sarge. Yes, I know. But you are more than capable of doing it. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, I do not chase. I attract. What belongs to me will find me. Do that. Think of it that way for the year 2020. And if you go out into the relationship world or the dating world or whatever fucking world and people ask you what you do for a living, the reason people ask you what you do for a living is so they could calculate the level of respect to give you. If that's what their first impression is, if that's one of the first fucking things that come out of their mouth, so what do you do for a living? Automatically, internally, within their own mind, they're trying to figure out how much respect to give you. You know what I mean? And that's bullshit. Let that be a red flag. Red flag. You know, you just meet somebody. Oh, what do you do for a living? Yeah, fuck you. This conversation's over. How about that? How about that? You know what I do for a living? I walk away from toxic motherfuckers. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of people that you put up with that you should not be putting up with anymore. There's going to be a lot of people out there that push your buttons and you normally are like, okay, let me just, you know, rush my way, you know, force my way through this conversation. Fuck that conversation. When this happens, when you're in a situation you don't want to be in, a conversation, a relationship, whatever, take a deep breath and remember who the fuck you are. Okay? You control your life. You are the author of your own book. Nobody else is writing that shit but you. So do not fucking wait for pages of your life for somebody else to fill in the blanks. Do you understand me? Nod or say yes. Or think it. Perfect. Well done. And remember, going into this new year, this new decade, stay fucking low key. All right? The people that know you will get to know you. They've earned that. They know you, right? You could be you around them. But in general... In society, in life, stay low key. Not everyone needs to know every fucking thing about you. Do you understand? If fucking strangers don't need to know where you live, right? Fucking strangers don't need to know if you have children or what you do for a living. It's none of their fucking business. Let that shit be earned. Stop giving away yourself. Let that be a gift to people that deserve it. And to all my delinquents out there listening, they give people second chances, third chances, fourth chances. Oh my God, I forgot how many chances I've given this fucking person. Sometimes, just sometimes, your heart needs more time to accept what your mind already knows. So when you find yourself in an embrace with someone you fucking loathe, your mind knows that. Your mind is like, uh, fucking idiot. But your heart is like, uh, this feels nice. This is, this is nice. <laughs> Don't trust your heart, okay? Don't let your heart lead you everywhere, all right? Don't do that. You got to use your brain. People got to fucking, people got to fucking bother you, all right? If you want people to feel good, you know, if you want, if you want to give people the impression that they are awesome, 
when they're hugging you, you should fart. It makes them feel strong. <laughs> Don't do that. That was a joke. That was a joke. That was Sarge being joking. Okay. I'm a jokey jokester sin. Do not do that. Good. But that's it. That's the podcast. Quick and to the point. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my delinquent army, I love you. Okay. I need you guys to follow me on social medias. Follow me on all the social medias. The Gray Area, number one on Instagram and Twitter. The Gray Area Facebook page. Tell your squad to follow my pod. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm on there every now and then. I'm every, I'm on there all the fucking time. I do little quips of random thoughts. Like I just did one a couple days ago where I, I, I'm pretty much telling the delinquent army that follows me on Instagram that Titanic is just an old woman telling a story about some good dick she got on a cruise. <laughs> Because it's fucking accurate. All right, everybody. So make sure you follow me. And I hope you guys had a good year. And I hope 2020 is going to be that much better. And I am humbled that you listen to me. Okay? So I will try to make this this year better for you. Because I love you. And you love me. If you want to rock some gear. If you want to rock some the gray area merch. I got some new designs out, so go to tpublic.com, type in DGA, and there they shall be. (laughs) I'll probably have more down the road, but everything you do, you know, it helps build my podcast. It helps contribute to the podcast, and it's got everything you want, you know, t-shirts, onesies, hoodies, you know, baseball t-shirts, tapestry, mugs, travel mugs, stickers, buttons, whatever you want. To tell the world that the delinquent army is here. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do a joke anyway. I said I wasn't going to do a joke, but I'm totally going to do a joke. What does it mean if you were born in September? That your parents started the new year with a bang. Ayo! (laughs) Alright. Happy New Year. I hope it's a great one. I'll be back to talk to you guys next week. Love you. Bye!